Dear Other Transgender and Gender Non-Conforming, I put a live feed of my home 24-7 for a reason. At first, I wanted to redefine what it means to be a transparent company, but now I realize I'm doing this for us. I can't tell you why we exist, but I like to think we exist for each other and for the next generation of non-binary beings. From another nutoir, Adrian. What in the actual fuck? Ah! I just got back from a couple lovely internet-free days in London and I think I'm refreshed, relaxed and ready enough again to share some more of what I've found with you. So a little while ago I saw that some chick had come out to President Obama as non-binary, saying she has no rights and the world needs to progress and so on. Naturally, I was curious, but I quickly found myself underwhelmed, mostly coming across women who look and sound feminine and men who look, sound, everything masculine, but they want you to call them they. Boring just a bunch of snowflakes. A load of people who don't need gender-neutral bathrooms, but rather a nice, inclusive, non-binary noose. Then I came across Adrian. Adrian Wu is a Canadian fashion designer. His stuff's been covered in a bunch of magazines and he has a Wikipedia page. Apparently he's dressed a few celebrities and blah blah. I've looked at some of his work and I've got to say, I'm not a fan. But maybe I just don't get it. His toilet paper art too, just not feeling it. Frankly, I am concerned about the origin of the red colouring. Adrian describes these pictures as work he did that nobody cared about. No big deal though, really, because Adrian's moved on to bigger and better things. He's working on what is perhaps one of the most important designs of all time. As a designer, I have the freedom to design whatever I want. My father himself told me over the years, you're struggling to design what the middle looks like. For whatever reason, it led you in this direction, shaving all your hair off and your eyebrows to slowly remove the human construct of gender from, its, from myself. You know, I shave my head, so I guess I'm on the path to being genderless too. Maybe if I did the eyebrows too, people would have to start asking, are you a man or a woman? I can admit that in some ways, my mission is to design what the third gender looks like. I've said this many times in the past, I rather someone think I have cancer than to think I'm male or female. It's all about that chemo chic. You know, that straight out of treatment look. Watching this guy's stuff, I'm starting to feel like I'm watching a comic book villain's origin story unfold in front of me. Because this isn't just some goof shaving down, greasing up and then editing some videos. He says there is a doctor helping him in this quest to design the third gender. A doctor with a more progressive perspective on things. Her perspective is really so much around identity, not disorder. Um, I swear to God, I did not put this music in. It's in his video. She talks a lot about how uh, trans people are, this isn't a discussion about disorder, it's a discussion about identity. And she um, has just incredibly made it so smooth on me and I just feel so privileged. If this were a movie someone had written, it would get panned as incredibly heavy-handed and unrealistic. I think it would get called a bigoted, anti-trans, right-wing propaganda horror story. But it seems to be real, and my skin is crawling. Fashion designer isn't getting as much attention as he wants, so he decides he's going to take on this project of designing a third gender to transition into and have others follow him. So he goes to a Canadian doctor who insists that nothing like this can be a disorder. It's just all about your personal identity. And then next thing you know, got approved to take these. He's got the tools he needs. And yeah, can we just can we just mention how fucking creepy the mannequins in the back are, especially given the context. Someday they're going to be cracked open and there'll be humans inside. <laughs> with their eyebrows gone. <clears throat> Believe it or not, there is more to this though. Adrian Wu is into transhumanism. You could describe it as trying to go beyond what is considered human now, or using technology to improve ourselves and go beyond our limits. For Adrian, this can mean using a VR headset to cook with, or because he's apparently a fucking maniac to drive with, and it turns out his transition is part of this too. I decided to have a little peek at his Twitter account, where I was faced with some slightly worrying quotes like, some of the most healthy people happen to be the most mentally unstable. <laughs> 
and a link to a Medium article where he basically explains this doctor he goes to, well, apparently you just tell her what you want to be and she'll get you there. And while he's not the most coherent writer, my understanding is, this is a political transition. He's doing this for transhumanism and morphological freedom. He seems to want anyone to have the right to have any medical procedure done to them, for any reason, no matter what. And on top of that, look, I mean, he never straight up says this, but I think Adrian legit wants to be an alien. Removing the biology of gender allows me to be more productive. And uh, let me just say it again, let me remind you, even if it's not quite that extreme, this guy is being given the chemicals he needs to desire a third gender by a doctor. This nutcase who shaves his entire body every other day and covers himself in Vaseline. This guy who seems to believe he's some kind of transcendent alien with a soundtrack to match. It still means so much to me that you all follow me. And that you continue to support what's happening to me and to us. This guy is apparently being treated by medical professionals as if, yeah, that's normal, you just need pills. Fucking alien pills. I'm at the same time entertained, horrified, and infuriated. How does this happen? Just fuck. I'm sorry, just fucking look at some more. Don't you see that this future that we fantasize about already exists? One of these days, E.T. is going to phone home and they're just going to let it ring. They're going to pretend they're not there. You know, a flying saucer is going to be out looking for humans to abduct, and they're just going to take one look and skip him. They might even be offended at the gross caricature of their kind that he represents. If there's anything to be learned from this, it's that if you feel uncomfortable in your body, you look in a mirror and you see this. What you were meant to be. The body you should have been born into. Go to Canada and they'll sort you out. Alright, I think that's enough. Pretty weird, pretty scary. But, hey, at least this guy's not going to be able to reproduce. <laughs> right? Hi. Um, ugh. I just donated... I didn't donate sperm. I just banked my sperm. Whew! 